Hi. It's that time of the year, the strange juxtaposition of TV ads portraying the ideal Christmas. Multiracial families enjoying the perfect Christmas dinner, usually followed by heart-wrenching depictions of street homeless, smiling saviours working for charity, so give generously. Thousands are now sleeping rough and surviving like feral animals thrown onto the streets. And there's ads for this too. The cold, hard reality of street homelessness is being unable to sleep due to the, due to the uh, extreme cold, dying of disease and substance abuse, subjected to violence, having your portable possessions destroyed, harassment by uniformed and other thugs. No one knows how many are actually street homeless. The number must be in the tens of thousands. Pop-up mini tent cities are sprouting up everywhere. All the government statistics are worthless and tip of the iceberg, including other categories of homeless. And how many hover on the precipice of homelessness? It's millions of all ages. The safety nets have long gone. Yet, for the government and conservative commentators, it's some sort of lifestyle choice. That's why these Christmas ads grind so brutally on the senses. All these happy families, actors of course, depicting cosy, smug, beaming with self-satisfaction, suburban merriment and affluence. It's double insulting when you realise that in the real world, such lifestyles come at the expense of those homeless and millions of others struggling to survive in this capitalist system. Pensioners living in isolation, unable to afford heating bills, some even with the threat of eviction and being cast out onto streets. All the safety nets have been removed and all this suffering has been deliberately engineered by successive governments. The resulting upward flow of wealth benefits those types depicted in the Christmas ads through to the ultra-rich. The only solution to the housing crisis is the mass crash course construction of millions of social housing units and made a national priority, but simply, it ain't going to happen. There's no solution within the present system. It's political parties. That's why revolution from below, or even the threat of it, is the only thing now that can deliver a housing solution that will prevent the growing homelessness crisis that can now only get worse, much worse. Bye.